Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a little bit different. My page is meant to be a fitness page and it's where I'm gonna upload workouts, healthy recipes, and kind of do like a daily vlog of how I do a healthy lifestyle. Uh, but my other video was for an athlete search, the other one that's uploaded on my channel. This is my second video and I wanna do kind of like a proper get to know me. So I thought it'd be really interesting since I do love beauty and fitness to just kind of combine the two and you know, do a sit down, get ready with me and just kind of tell you a little bit about myself and goals and where I wanna go in life. So I hope you like it. If not, please let me know. I would love your feedback. So if you like the video and you wanna see more get ready videos like this, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, I really would love for you to just subscribe down below. I'm trying to grow my fitness page, obviously. I wanna be an influencer. If you're not already following me on Instagram, go do that. It's at Hope Fallon Fit. I post workouts, healthy recipes, and just really, really motivational things. Um, I have people come to me all the time saying, what you're saying is so relevant to my life. Who stopped me from committing suicide that happened last week. And it's just so refreshing. So go follow me there, subscribe, like the video, and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm just going to empty out my makeup bag. Man, my dark circles, like, <laughs> woo! Just a little FYI, I am not a beauty guru, okay? I did not, like I'm self-taught, so this is just, how I like to do my makeup from makeup videos. You know, don't judge. If you have helpful tips for me to do my makeup, please let me know because I would love to get better at doing it. Actually, I'm so excited. I had a Sephora gift card and I actually went and picked up this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. A lot of um, beauty gurus like Jaclyn Hill and Casey Holmes, like they really rave about this and I've been wanting to give it a try. So you're supposed to shake it like this. I don't know. I use a beauty blender, but for the sake of this video, uh, I don't want to show you. I'll go ahead and show you. How dirty it is. I'm so embarrassed. Don't make fun of me. So I'm going to go get my makeup wedges. I picked these up at Target. <laughs> They're like a dollar for how many? 32. And I use one at least twice. I know you're not supposed to do that because of bacteria, but hashtag broke. Um, some people like to just kind of put it on your face, like squirt it on. It, it does have a nice pump. But since it is my first time trying it, I think I'm going to try putting it on the wedge and we'll see how that turns out. Oh, so most people use a primer. Um, I really do want the mattifying primer from Make It Forever, but yo girl is broke. So I'm just going to go ahead and use, I use um, Cetaphil oil, moist, um, oil control moisturizer. It keeps me from obviously producing too much oil throughout the day because I have combination skin. So um, I get really oily in my T-zone, but my cheeks are really dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as a base layer. Beauty gurus are probably gonna be like, what the hell is she doing? But <laughs> I don't care, so. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna pump a little bit on here. Any second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna kinda dab it on my face. Again, I'm not a beauty guru, so, you know. Gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. I just heard it was kind of runny, so it can smooth out, but it doesn't seem too runny to me. I wonder how embarrassing this is. Am I embarrassing myself in front of all those beauty gurus out there? So anyways, while I'm blending this out, or just spreading it, I guess, I don't know, it's not really blending, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk to you why I started a fitness channel. So, 
I struggled growing up. Um, I wouldn't say growing up. I was pretty fit. I played soccer throughout high school. And then when I got off to college, you know, I started doing drugs and drinking all the time. I don't really have control at all. So, I didn't work out and I, I ate whatever I wanted. And in high school I weighed 110. I got all the way up to 140 in like eight months. Um, and I'm only 5'2", so for my stature that weight isn't really, that's not a good weight. That's considered overweight for me. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on the way. Whoa. Whoa. Just gonna be a little generous with it. Anyways, so, you know, obviously I was very self-conscious with my weight. Um, I used to binge eat when I was dressed because I do, I have generalized anxiety disorder and uh, major depression. So, I used to binge eat my feelings. Then I noticed I was overweight and I was very self-conscious about it and so I went anorexic. So all I ate for months, like maybe two times a day, I don't know if it was three, I would just eat soup. Like that's all I ate was like the healthy fat-free progresso soup and like I lost a lot of weight. But then, I mean, it's not a maintainable lifestyle, and so I gained the weight right back. Like, you, you can't do that. This is probably taking me, like, way too long, but live your life, you know? Okay. Now I'm going to go in with concealer, do my under eyes, and highlight a few other places if I can find it. I am going to use, um, get the Makeup Forever, but the one I've been using is the, I've been using the Pacifica brand. It really does have a nice full coverage, but um, it kind of creases on my skin, so I've been wanting to try something new, plus I'm almost out. But anyways, so I'm just gonna put it under like this, down the bridge of my nose, and kind of out like that. Get some more because I like a lot of concealer out like that down the bridge of my nose and and I'm also going to put some like this and then down my nose and then I'm gonna save that for something else that I have all right get your little wedge and just blend away um, so I noticed that you know, I was dropping weight and then it wasn't maintainable so I started eating really bad again and I gained all the weight back, obviously, pretty fast. And so I was like, okay, something needs to change and I turned into a cardio bunny, which I will never do again. This lighting, seriously, like I promise in my mirror, my dark circle is covered, but I think you're just seeing like the crease of my eye. It does not look that bad in person, so. I'm so sorry I look like a zombie. But yeah, I turned into a cardio bunny. I lost a lot of the weight I had gained back. But then and when you're when you're doing cardio, you have to like keep doing it. So let me explain that. When doing cardio, you have to let's just say you run 30 minutes and your body adapts to that. In order to maintain where you're at, you have to run 30 minutes like every single time you run. And if you want to get better, you have to keep increasing, like, the intensity or the time. And that's just, it's not really maintainable for me. I know that my mom's a runner, but for me, it's just not the way that I want to live. I wanted to be happy um, and fit and do something that I loved. So and I started watching um, a couple of fitness people on YouTube and Instagram. So there's Heidi Summers. Um... Noelle Arvarello, Whitney Simmons, Katie Corio, Tammy Hembro, Tammy Hembro, seriously, oh my gosh, she's a goddess. Um, and I learned that girls can lift weights. Now growing up, my dad was a bodybuilder and my mom, I was familiar with that kind of training, but I never thought that I would do it myself. 
Um, and so I started off with just free 12 week trainer. It was Jamie Easton's Live Fit 12 week challenge. And I seriously like, I didn't get super muscly obviously cause it's only um, three months, but I noticed difference and differences in like the way that I felt on the inside. My skin was healthy, I felt great, and like I was eating the right portions of food. And so, you know, I did that for, I wanna say like a year, and like watching their YouTubes, looking at all the stuff on Instagram, and I was just like, I wanna do that. When you get used to doing something, at least for me, I don't know, like I have to keep going. I can't just like stay idle, and so, I was like, why not just make my own like YouTube and fitness Instagram, you know? And like I was in the contemplation um, phase forever. I didn't take action until, you know, a little bit later. So before I continue, next I'm going to use this uh, Wet n Wild palette. It's like a, it's just a contouring powder and highlight powder. Um, I think it was like $3.99 at Target because once again, I'm poor. I can't afford like the really nice Fenty sticks or whatever. So it works. But anyways, you know, I kind of thought about the YouTube and fitness Instagram for a really long time. Mm. Oh girl. Woo, it looks darker on the camera. It is not that dark in person, I swear. I kind of had like a thought one day and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Like, why not? Just go for it. And so <laughs> it was the, like, I remember it was a very, the first post I made was so scary. I was introducing my logo and like what I was gonna do and what I was about. And this was on Instagram. I was like so nervous. It was a picture of my logo in the middle and like a picture of me in the front like flexing and the other one was like me turned around. I was in a bikini, okay, it wasn't my underwear, but it was like a thong bikini. And I remember posting it like hitting the share button. I was like, oh my gosh. And it, after that, like you just kind of get used to it. I'm not saying like go post naked pictures, but like I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and like I'm, I had to be courageous and like put myself out there and I don't know, it's just a really good feeling. And so that was the start of it. And then that that kind of stuff went on for like a really long time. Um, you know, just like I was trying to copy everybody else's fitness posts and it wasn't really like working out for me, um, I realized. So I came across this company called First Form. It's, it's a supplement company. Um, the CEO is Andy Priscilla. He's like the most amazing entrepreneur that I know. He has several businesses. He also has an academy for the people that want to become like successful entrepreneurs. I've been doing this for a while, sorry. I'm gonna go along my jawline. But anyways, they help you be yourself. Ooh. Because if you look at Instagram, like everybody's posting the same types of pictures. Yes, I post posing pictures. Yes, I post pictures of my butt, but I don't know. I always try to make my caption mean something. Um, I always try to give educational or motivational information and I really want to lift people up. Like I consider myself a life fitness coach. I am certified through NASM as a personal trainer and I do online fitness plans for people. Um, they're 12 week customized plans. And yeah, I just like went from there and I created a website and my website will be listed down below, but it's fallonfitness.com. So I like did that and oh, ooh girl, we'll fix that. So anyways, um, yeah, that was kind of like a, a big moment for me releasing the website and I learned that personal development is really really important for your success um, you can't just like sit there and expect things to come to you like you constantly need to be like feeding yourself information 
I'm so sorry. Beauty gurus are probably like, what the f is she doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Casey Holmes. I hope you never see this, which you probably won't, but. Oh my gosh, stop. You see how the light is just like. <sighs> so something that I try to do is just really be genuine on my channel. Like if I'm, if I'm struggling with something, um, I'll immediately like post it on my story. Um, and then I'll try to like make a post about it on my Instagram. But you know, I'm like super open and honest with you guys. And I just, I want to stress that because there's so many fitness people that they like, they just portray this terrible image about fitness. And I don't know, like it just, it's so annoying because when I first started, I was like reaching for something that wasn't maintainable or even obtainable for me. And they didn't show like the backstory, the real story, the behind the scenes. And I want you guys to know everything. And there's no reason to hide it. Like I'm a normal human being. Normal. I'm just a regular human being, you know? There's nothing special about me. People struggle, it's a part of life. And I wanna share that with you guys and like help you get through it. I'm sorry that I'm using my iPhone because I don't have a lens for my camera yet. and. I'm so sorry, the quality is bad. I'm hoping to bring you guys better quality, but anyways. So now that I'm done contouring with the darker powder, I'm gonna go in with the lighter powder, powder, <laughs> the lighter powder on the same palette. I'm gonna use a different part of the sponge. And I just kind of brush it like this. And I'm gonna go above. And oh shoot, above and below. Like this. And I'm also going to go under my eye and stuff. So, yeah. And you know, with the YouTube, like I was telling myself. Cause like I have a vision for my YouTube like everybody else does and I had to just like jump out there and do it cause I've been waiting for a lens and like I need, you know, like LED lights and like a backdrop and all of that. And um, I just told myself like, you just need to do it. You know, like this is the hand that I was dealt and you know, I can't just like sit around and wait, like just do it and jump into it. I know that it'll get better. And so like this quality isn't gonna be, you know, like those really big people on Instagram, but in YouTube, but it's like, this is me, you know? I'm not gonna hide it from you guys. So anyways, now that I did that, I'm gonna go in with this bigger brush I don't even know what kind of brush, maybe a powder brush, who knows. And I'm gonna get my bronzer. I use the Physician's Formula bronzer. I got it for free on an Instagram contest. So it's not like I like went out and chose to buy this, but I mean, it, it works pretty well. So just swirl it, tap it, and you wanna swirl up, not down. Um, I don't really know why, someone just told me that, so. <laughs> and I promise you, like, it is not this intense in my mirror, but, so, so my goal now is to like, obviously keep moving forward. I'm gonna start putting better content out there for you guys and just being